Now, let me tell you, because this, this reading that I'm going to do for you, does not really involve that at all. So you, you don't, those of you who didn't hear my little thing about the premise, don't worry, you don't need to know that to get this scene. Mickey is always, it, he always, this new boy in town, who is very secretive, and Mickey is very curious about what he does in his spare time, because he always seems to be following people around and taking notes on people, and she can't figure out why is he doing this stuff. And so she decides, I gotta become, I'm gonna be the first person who has ever made friends with Hiro Sakurai, you know? Uh, and so she keeps coming up to him and saying, hey, Hiro, how you doing? Hey, it's me, Miki, hey, boy, we haven't talked since this morning, what's going on? Um, <laughs> and so she keeps coming up to him like that, day after day, and finally she comes up and says, hey, Hiro, and then Hiro turns on her and says, look, Miki, these little chit-chat conversations that you keep trying to strike up with me are making me very uncomfortable, so it's going to have to stop. Okay? Now, Miki, re Miki responds by saying, You called me Miki. You call me by my first name. You've never done that before. That's just, this is great. We're getting to know one another. And that, that's when Hiro says, Why won't you just leave me alone? Okay, that's the really so, he's so angry at her. Of course, you have that manga moment of tears in the eyes. She's about to break down, but then she finds her inner Miki. And she, gets, she gets strong and she says, I won't. She gets strong and she says, uh, she says, I won't leave you alone because you don't really want me to leave you alone. Okay. And that's when the that's when she really stands up for herself, and I do one of these pages, and she says, you, uh, you don't want to admit that, not even to yourself, but it's true. So that, that's, <laughs> that's my little four-page sequence there, and that gives you a sense of, uh, you know, the real drama in Mickey Falls, for the most part, is in the, in the dialogue and in the conversations, but for those of you who like action, by the third book and the fourth book there are five scenes, they are on the run, there are people coming after them, there's a lot of suspense, and like I said, she crashes through a window, I mean, what more do you want? Uh, so, but I, I just wanted to say quickly about this, this kind of a page layout that uh, I was inspired by shoujo type manga where they'll, where they'll draw the whole figure from uh, head to toe and sort of blend things in, this was all new to me, and it was so... I had no idea when I started doing Mickey Falls. You know, it's like I kind of told you the story that I was at Borders, and it was a little bit crass. I was kind of like, hey, kids like manga, wow, i got to get in on this shit. <laughs> you know? I do manga, hey, what other souls, huh? That, it was a little bit like that almost at first, but I swear to God, once I started doing the project, little by little, I became much more serious about it, and this whole idea of being able to do a comic page that wasn't like panel, 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 the way most comic, American comics are, this was like a revelation to me. Now, I had done this Akiko comic, 53 issues I had done in the panel, panel, panel style, and suddenly, when, as soon as I started doing manga, it was sort of like, wow, I'm being reborn here or something. I'm, I'm discovering a whole new way, for me anyway, of doing comics, so it was a real thrill for me to... Uh, it really was like almost getting to, to reinvent myself. You know, doing a panel like this with a face, it, it doesn't have its own panel, it's just somehow behind her, but we read it and we understand. This is a zooming in effect, you know, I, no one says, oh, what, is this a giant Miki behind her? And, you know, manga readers are, so, manga readers are sophisticated and they, they, understand, they can read this stuff. Anyway, I told you I wanted to try something that I had never tried before. I'm gonna try to do a reading uh, of a dialogue scene from Mickey Falls in which there, I don't have any of this. Uh, and it's, you know, it's the people who are really serious about spoilers, um, I'm going to spoil, the, there's no real spoiler in this scene, I don't think really. It, it's, uh, oh, are you going to try to read along in an autumn? It's, um, let me, I'll start to describe it on page, 19, although that page is not numbered, you're going to have to hunt until you find what page 19 is. There's not a whole lot of dialogue on page 19, but this is 
I'll just describe it to you. Hiro and Miki are finally together. I don't think I don't think that's a, giving too much away by the third book. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's a woman named Reika, uh, and she is sort of the other woman, you know. And she is she and Miki are sort of competing maybe for Hiro, even though Miki has pretty much won Hiro at this point. Sorry. Is she the one in the back of the cover? She's the one. Yeah, she's this one here. Yeah, that you see sort of like. 